there were presidential elections in Iran in 2013, and President Hassan Rouhani was elected uh, with the promise of resolving the nuclear issue and having constructive engagement with the world. So the substance of nuclear negotiations remained the same, but the style changed fundamentally, and that was so important uh, for coming uh, to an agreement with the, with the P5 plus one. Uh, it has a lot of implications. It uh, sets a precedent for non-proliferation, not only in the Middle East, but in the world. Uh, it decides about the fate of Iran and its role in the region and its relations with the West. Uh, there's a lot at stake, uh, and that's why you see uh, the President of Iran, the President of the United States, uh, the uh, uh, Chief uh, Foreign Policy uh, Officer of the European Union, all investing of their personal political capital into this process. The nuclear negotiations have been taking place on and off for the past 10 years. The reason that there was no real progress was that a zero-sum dynamic defined these negotiations. Each side was looking to force the other one to capitulate. Uh, finally, in late 2013, the two sides realized that they were engaged, in fact, in a vicious race of sanctions against centrifuges. That on one hand, the Iranians would ratchet up their uh, nuclear program, and on the other hand, the P5 plus one would just ratchet up their sanctions regime. Uh, and they also understood that this situation was not sustainable and would eventually uh, push the two sides to the brink and would result in some kind of military confrontation with high costs and uh, uncertain outcome. Uh, and as a result of that, they decided that it's time uh, to change the dynamics and move towards a win-win solution. This is the first nuclear agreement in almost a decade of up, ups and downs and unsuccessful uh, negotiations. So it was, it was a groundbreaking uh, agreement. It was a real breakthrough.